Hi, in this video I will introduce the concept of electric potential. You should already be familiar with gravitational potential. You can recap via my video on this topic. Electric potential is a very similar concept, but can be just as tricky to get your head around. Imagine an electron and a proton in empty space. The particles are attracted to each other via an electric field. If you wanted to move the electron away from the proton, you would have to do work against this electric field. This work will be converted into electrical potential energy in the electron. The further you move the electron, the weaker the electric field from the proton, and therefore the smaller the force it will experience. So less and less work will be needed to be done to keep moving the electron away. Eventually, at an infinite distance away from the proton, the electron will experience zero electric field so no further work needs to be done to move it away. It has reached a maximum electric potential energy. We define this maximum electric potential energy at the infinity point as zero. Unlike in gravitational fields, a charged particle in an electric field can have either positive or negative values of electric potential energy, depending on whether the particle has a positive or negative charge. How can we calculate this electric potential energy? The electric potential energy gained is equal to the work done moving the charge in the electric field. Work done is force multiplied by distance moved in the direction of the force. Here the distance is the separation between the particles, r. So we already know that f is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, this is Coulomb's law, multiplied by q1, q2 over r squared. So if we multiply 3 by r, this gives us a potential energy, an electrical potential energy of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 over r. Note that this equation is almost identical to that for force, but pay attention to the lack of a squared sign on the r. In gravitational fields, you learned about a quantity called gravitational potential, which is the gravitational potential energy per unit mass, or the work done per unit mass to move a test mass from infinity to that point in the gravitational field. Similarly, electric potential, V, is the work done per unit charge to move a positive test charge from infinity to that point. For a radial field, this gives us an electrical potential, V, equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 multiplied by q divided by r. Again be careful with the details of this equation. It looks similar to the others in this topic but note there is just one charge there that is the charge that is causing the electric field and the r is not squared. Electrical potential is work done per unit charge so its unit is joules per coulomb or a volt. When we referred to potential difference in the electricity topic, we're actually talking about the difference between the electrical potential of electrons at two positions in the circuit. It's the same concept. You can calculate the work that must be done to move a charged particle from one potential to another using the equation change in work delta W is equal to the charge multiplied by the change in the electrical potential or the potential difference between the two points. As you can see, if the change in potential, the potential difference, is zero, the work done is also zero. This would be the case if the particle was moving across an equipotential surface where all points are at the same potential. If we plot electric field strength against separation, what does the area underneath the curve represent? Well, we know that E equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q over r squared. So if we multiply through by r, that gives us 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q over r, which is equal to our equation from earlier for electric potential, v. So the area under the graph is the electric potential. Conversely, a graph of potential against separation will have a gradient 
that is equal to the electric field strength. We can write that as E is equal to the change in electric potential divided by the change in the separation.